I think in Cambodia over the last three years, uh, there has been significant growth. What happened is that you will see a lot of uh, international banks uh, coming to set up uh, their presence in Cambodia. You also see a lot of uh, large banks from China, Japan, uh, Taiwan, Malaysia, uh, even Singapore and to establish a presence in Cambodia. So I think Cambodia today is at a crossroad where I think people see tremendous opportunity for the financial sector to continue to grow. So I think that is good. Uh, it is also good for the country uh, because the, a, a strong financial sector would also ensure that um, the local public uh, will have greater access to uh, financial services, they will have greater access to financial products. A strong financial sector will also allow the economy um, to grow consistently in the future. So right now would be an interesting time and I think that uh, with the uh, regulatory uh, confidence of the National Bank of Cambodia, I think a lot more of these international institutions will continue to enter Cambodia and to uh, elevate uh, the banking knowledge, the banking services, the banking products for the Cambodian uh, public and the country itself. I think customer service is a very big word in Cambodia. Uh, reason being is that the banking sector in Cambodia is currently very diversified. You have foreign banks, you have very small banks, you have microfinance, you have specialized banks. So for a Cambodian customer today, it is not just purely on customer service. First of all, they would expect a bank to be safe and to be secure. That is important. They got to make sure that you know their hard-earned money, all right, which they used to keep under the mattress, and now they deposit in the bank, will be there. So strength and stability for the customers is part of uh, customer service to them. Two, for a Cambodian customer, customer service is also talking about uh, products and services. As the economy develops, as people require funding to develop their business, the entrepreneur business and so on, it is also important that they have access to loans, access to services, access to banking products that are creative so that they can use it to further expand their business. Thirdly, of course, is the ability for the bank to actually serve them when they come into the counter. So, for Canadian Bank, these three factors are important to us when we look at customer service. So first of all, we project to our customers that Canadian Bank is a stable bank, is a safe bank. Your money with us is always safe anytime you want to withdraw it. All right? So we run a very conservative balance sheet to make sure that the confidence of the customers are maintained. Two, we provide a variety of services for our customers. Over the last two, three years, we have expanded into microfinance, we are going to expand into life insurance, we are going to expand into the region. We have developed interesting products like, for example, a marriage account, all right? student account, junior account, elite accounts. So some of these products and services uh, allows the customer to meet their needs. And of course, which is most important, is that when they reach the branch counter, how are they served? So in Canadian Bank, in the last two years ago, we launched an incentive called uh, the Great Smile, Thank You and Personalized Campaign. 
So every time when you enter the branch, people try to personalize a greeting for you. And our tellers and our staff are given awards, which they wear, and also incentives for them to be able to serve and greet their customers well. So service quality, um, pertinently in Canada Bank, is not just the usual service quality that you see in other banks. It covers the three broad areas um, that I explained just now.